Do you know what to do during an earthquake? If your answer is no or you're uncertain, keep watching as we delve into the crucial do's and don'ts when an earthquake strikes. Understanding how to react when the earth starts shaking could literally save your life and those around you. It's not just about surviving the quake itself, but also about navigating the aftermath safely. So, are you ready to equip yourself with this life-saving knowledge? Well, let's dive straight into it and start with the do's during an earthquake. First off, what should you do when the ground starts shaking? The answer is simple. Drop, cover, and hold on. This technique is crucial to preventing injuries. Drop to the ground to avoid being knocked over by the shaking. Then, find cover under a sturdy piece of furniture like a table or desk and hold on until the shaking stops. If there isn't any furniture nearby, Protect your head and neck with your arms, and find shelter against an interior wall, moving away from windows and heavy objects that could fall. Now, if you're indoors when the quake hits, stay put. It's tempting to dash outside, but moving during shaking can be hazardous, especially in high-rise buildings where the swaying can be amplified. So, hunker down and wait it out. The next crucial step, staying calm. Easier said than done, we know, but panicking can lead to poor decision-making and increase the risk of injury. Breathe, focus, and remember your training. Once the shaking stops, it's time to check for hazards. Be cautious of things like broken glass, fallen objects, and structural damage. Move carefully as you navigate your surroundings, keeping an eye out for potential dangers. After you've ensured your immediate safety, it's time to tune in. Stay updated with emergency alerts and instructions through radio, TV, or your smartphone. These updates can provide vital information on aftershocks, evacuation orders, and more. Last but certainly not least, if it's safe to do so, assist others. Children, the elderly, and individuals with disabilities may need help to evacuate or seek medical attention. Your actions can make a huge difference in such challenging times. So remember, stay calm, stay safe, and stay informed. Now, let's move on to what not to do during an earthquake. While knowing what to do is important, it's equally crucial to know what not to do when an earthquake hits. Firstly, do not panic. This can't be stressed enough. Panic can lead to irrational decisions and increase the risk of injury. Just remember, keep cool, stay focused, and you'll be better equipped to handle whatever comes your way. Next, never use elevators during or immediately after an earthquake. The shaking can cause them to become stuck or malfunction, trapping occupants inside. It's a scary thought, isn't it? So. Always opt for staircases when you need to move between floors. Contrary to popular belief, standing in doorways is not recommended as a safe practice during earthquakes. You might be thinking, but I've heard that door frames are the strongest part of the house. However, modern research and building codes suggest that it's safer to drop, cover, and hold on under sturdy furniture or against interior walls. While it may be tempting to run outside during an earthquake, resist the urge. It's generally safer to stay indoors and take cover until the shaking stops. Running outside exposes you to falling debris, glass, and other hazards. So, unless you're already outside or in an unsafe building, it's best to stay put. Lastly, don't ignore aftershocks. They are common after large earthquakes and can cause additional damage. It's easy to breathe a sigh of relief once the initial shaking stops, but remember, aftershocks can be just as dangerous. So, be prepared for them and take the same protective actions as during the initial quake. Just as knowing the do's can save lives, understanding these don'ts can also be a lifesaver. It's not about instilling fear, but about promoting awareness and preparedness. By avoiding these actions, you can keep yourself and others safe during an earthquake. Remember, your safety is in your hands, and with the right knowledge, you can navigate through any earthquake with confidence. By avoiding these actions, you can keep yourself and others safe during an earthquake. Earthquakes can be frightening, but with the right knowledge, you can increase your chances of staying safe. Remember to drop, cover, and hold on. Stay indoors and remain calm. Check for hazards, listen for updates, and help others if it's safe. Avoid panicking using elevators, standing in doorways, running outside, and ignoring aftershocks. Staying calm and making informed decisions can significantly increase your safety. Remember, your safety is paramount. So, stay informed, stay prepared, and stay safe. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to share this video to help others stay safe too.